So we got some new information on the Jeezy situation. Everybody is asking, did she cheat on him? I even want to know. What's going on right now is basically, sources are saying that the reason that he filed for divorce or the reasons that he filed for divorce is something that he could have worked on or they could have worked out. So I'm going to let y'all know the reasons. What I want y'all to do is I want y'all to actually jump in the comments and let me know how you feel. Do you feel like he should have uh, filed for divorce or do you feel like he should have just stuck it out and tried to work it out with her? I didn't notice that I had a hot temper until I got with Jeezy and here's a person who is my equal and I really respect. And when I would spew some of my old habits, he was like, uh-uh, like who, that's not flying here. Also, it would trigger him to come back at me with things where I was like, who the fuck do you think you are? The number one reason that they said he filed for divorce was distance. They basically said that him and Jeannie were away from each other a lot due to the fact of their careers, him touring, she's on her show, and business and things of that nature. He felt like a separation issue. I heard somewhere that he, one of the sources was saying that he had mental health issues and he was dealing with like some sort of problems that was going on from past now like i said once again i never heard this before but uh the number one reason was distance now honestly and this is me being honest they say absence make the heart grow fonder i really don't feel like that i feel like if you're in a relationship with somebody and uh and you're married to somebody i feel like that you, you guys are supposed to be together now i, I do understand that you know money need to be made and things need to happen so at certain so you know at certain times you got to make sacrifices but distance is one of those things where shit can happen and like i said a lot of people think that she cheated on him now once again i'm not saying that this happened but with that distance somebody could have crept in what do you think the number two reason that they said that he filed for that divorce was Jeannie wanted a social media relationship. Now, what do we mean when I say that? It said that sometimes that he wanted, you know, she planned parties and he planned parties and he wanted them to be intimate and she invited everybody and she just wanted to put their relationship on social media, whereas he was the type of person that wasn't putting his business out there. He likes to keep his relationship off of social media, you know, more Hov and Beyonce like, you understand what I'm saying? And, you know, she was the opposite of him. So another thing and another issue with a lot of relationships right now is, said in the last video, if you put your business in the street, you know, things are bound to happen. This is one thing, this is another thing that I don't agree with. I do not agree with, you know, uh putting people in your business to each his own some people may say well if you can't show me on social media then it ain't for me cool but some people like to be discreet some people don't like to have everybody inside of their business also you know when people start talking about you and things start getting said and lies start getting thrown this shit matters a lot of people may act like it don't affect them, but it affects a lot of people. So social media can ruin a lot of relationships. So if that's another reason, then I agree with it. I agree. Now, I'm not saying that that's grounds to say, hey, listen, we're going to get a motherfucking divorce. It's over because you want ah, 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 ah. These are things that you definitely could work out. Certain times people can't communicate. When you can't communicate with your other half and let your other half know exactly what's going on with you, it's not a good thing. From the beginning of their relationship, listen, that's not gonna fly with me. And the reason that's not gonna fly with me is because, here's the thing, they were together for a little while. Think about this. Think about conversation. Do you think, now I want you to jump in the comments, do you think that he brought that to her attention you listen i really don't like the social media bull and blah 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 this that and the third yo listen i don't want to do that do you think he brought that to her attention jump in those comments now the next thing this is another thing that i agree with him on listen ladies listen they're saying that her mom's has been living with them you got husband 
you got wife, and then you got a third party. Mixing and meddling in your business. You understand what I'm saying? You might tell your kid one thing. They might tell your kid another thing. They're not with you, so they don't have to agree with you. This can cause a lot of problems in relationships as well. When you're in, in a relationship with somebody, you want to be in that relationship with that person. You don't want to be in a relationship with the mother or the father or the sister or the brother. And that's another thing. The other thing was her brother just moved in with them. You got a grown man sharing his house with a mother and her brother. Like I can't even walk around the house but ass naked if I want to. This is a problem. And the last thing, people were saying that she was very disrespectful to him. Meaning, people were saying that she had a problem with coming at him a certain way. And when he came at her a certain way, she didn't like it. Listen, in a relationship, you should always have respect in your relationship. If you can't have that respect in your relationship, your relationship is down to end. And nowadays, it's a lot of situations going on where people feel like it's okay to disrespect another person verbally. Now, listen, you don't have to bow down to anybody, husband, wife, man on the street, woman across the street, this person, that person, the other person. But what you do have to do is you have to respect people. And when you don't respect people and you lose respect for people, it becomes an issue. Men do not like dealing with shit like that because that shit can go a whole different way. If your woman doesn't respect you, that is an issue that can become an issue bottom line is the bottom line truth of the matter is is this those are a lot of reasons that people get divorced now do i believe that he should have filed for divorce because of those reasons it's still in question you know i believe that he could have talked those things out but listen we're not the people in that situation. You're not going through what he's going through. You're not in that situation where it's pressure on you. This is happening. That is happening. So you can't say. What I will say is this. In your relationship, communication is everything. If you're going to get married, if you're going to be married, if you're going to be in a relationship with someone, you have to be able to communicate with that person. If you can't communicate with that person, nothing will last. Listen to me. Nothing will last. You have to become selfless when you are in a relationship. It is not about you anymore. It's not about that person. It's about the union. Need I say more? I'm boss money base and this is expensive. As expensive could get. And that ain't no bullshit. Knuckle.